Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Final Trade. Let's have a talk about a couple of comic books. I know we joke about Conan in the comments and I make a, a reference to it once in a while, but we do all actually love Conan. We love the Arnold Schwarzenegger film from the 1980s. One of the very best pieces of American cinema ever made, and I say that non-ironically. It really is a very, very amazing movie, and some people take umbrage with the fact that Conan from that movie is not exactly the barbarian. His background is a bit different, and that informs the character in a different way, but, you know, we're here for these comic books, and I picked these up recently and read them and very much enjoyed them. They were recommended to me by another channel that I enjoy out there on YouTube, and so I wanted to pass along the recommendation, especially because you can still find these out today. They were printed recently, and they're still available at least online and maybe in your local comic book store. Now, these are two different series that have started up recently, and the first one I'm going to talk about here is Conan the Barbarian, a restart of the series. Now, Back in the 1970s and 80s, Roy Thomas bought, brought Conan to Marvel, and he is not the original developer. Of course, Robert Howard was the original creator of the character back in the 1930s, but Roy Thomas in the 70s and 80s brought over this character, convinced Marvel to buy the rights for several decades, and published now much-beloved books on Conan the Barbarian comic book series for several decades. Roy Thomas has blessed these new endeavors, and he has actually written some short stories to go in this particular magazine, which I will show you in a minute. But Conan the Barbarian, this is a regular comic book series, and it is not shy about the gore, the blood, the sex, the violence, the muscularity, and the manliness. And it is a very, very good series. It's probably not for your kids. Maybe your later teen kids, your boys particularly, will enjoy it. But uh, for your young kids, no, not really. Um, Conan likes him some barbarian women, and he likes them a couple times per book. So, uh, very, very good series. This is Bound in Blackstone. It is the first four comic omnibus the, of the first four issues of the new Conan the Barbarian series. Now, there will be another uh, four comic compilation book like this coming out in June with uh, issues five through eight in it. Issues nine through 12 will come out in a compiled book in October. You can, of course, go to your local comic book store and once a month buy the new comic. I'm not so into that. I prefer to buy these compiled books because I want to keep these on my bookcase for years to come and enjoy them in the future. And just for me, it's easier to do if it's bound together multiple comics in one backing instead of a whole bunch of individual loose comics. I am content to wait every four months and pick up the Omnibus. So, highly recommended. Very good series. And on to this one, The Savage Sword of Conan, which this is also number one and was a recently started series. Now, this is more of a Robert Howard and Conan, uh, let's call it a variety magazine. So, what it will have every month is it'll have a main story about Conan. You can see that from pages 7 to 55. And then there will be some short stories. There will be reprints of some of Robert Howard's original works. And then there will be some other series. This one is going to have, at least for a while, Solomon Cain, another one of Robert Howard's characters. So it'll have those kind of things in it. It's not a... Let's say it's not a continuous storyline like you expect through the Conan the Barbarian comic book series. It's more of here are some uh, disjointed short stories, some modernly writ written ones. There's a little bit of content by Roy Thomas in there. There was a forward by Roy Thomas. And you can expect in the future that in the six issues of this that they've promised so far, We'll probably have some stories about some of uh, Robert Her Her Howard's other mainline characters like Valeria and Cole and, again, Solomon Kane and some of the others. So uh, you can get these. I'll have some links down below. I know you can go ahead and pre-order uh, the second and third omnibus of Conan the Barbarian on Amazon. Um, I'll have a link down to where I ordered these from an online comic book store because I went by my local comic book store and they did not have either one. But 
I would tell you to pick them up. I mean, you can get this stuff for five, ten, fifteen dollars. Some of the stuff going through Amazon, you can get, you know, a four comic book bound together compilation book like this for ten, twelve bucks delivered to you. It's definitely worth your money, worth your time. They're entertaining stories, and it's the kind of low fantasy Conan the Barbarian stuff that we love. So. Let me know what else is out there for modern comics. I know the comic book industry has kind of been in the shits for a decade or so, but once in a while there's a ray of light that shines through. Let me know if you know of any of those other ones I should look into, and we'll be back to our regularly scheduled content tomorrow. Thanks to everyone who makes this content possible, especially my very generous supporters on Patreon. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and join me on Final Trade.